This presentation will cover the details of the Avtex Power BI connector for Genesis Pure Cloud. In this video, I'll begin with a brief introduction to Microsoft's Power BI solution. We'll move on to cover the basics of using Power BI, specifically talking about datasets, reports, and dashboards. If you're already familiar with Power BI, feel free to fast forward to the third section, Avtex Power BI Connector for Pure Cloud where we'll walk through the details of what the solution offers and the value it can bring to your organization. Let's get started. What exactly is Power BI? Microsoft describes it this way. Power BI is a collection of software services, apps, and connectors that work together to turn your unrelated sources of data into coherent, visually immersive, and interactive insights. In shorter terms, I describe Power BI as a cloud business intelligence application that enables the everyday user to organize data themselves, as opposed to needing a data administrator or an IT developer. You don't need data superpowers to create rich visualizations of information your organization needs to know. Someone who has a general working knowledge of Excel can create and share reports and dashboards in a short amount of time. Before we start getting into the Avtex Power BI connector for Pure Cloud, it's helpful to get a quick overview of the major components that comprise Power BI in general. Instead of reinventing the wheel, I'd recommend that you take a few minutes, just four, to watch Microsoft's introductory video to Power BI. It does an excellent job of concisely presenting the major components. If you skip the video and just want the quicker facts, I'll present those now. The first component is the dataset. A dataset can be anything from a database to an Excel spreadsheet or an online service that allows you to connect to a data source. Once you have datasets configured, you can use that data to build the second component, the report. A Power BI report is an organized collection of data from the different data sources you've configured that can be clicked into and sliced in ways that are important to you in a given moment. The third major component of Power BI is the dashboard. A dashboard is a collection of reports presented on a single screen. Dashboards typically bring together several reports that have related data for the purpose of understanding some bigger perspective. Clicking into any component within a dashboard will navigate you to the report the component is based on. So to summarize the components in reverse, a Power BI dashboard typically provides a big picture perspective about a vast array of data. The dashboard components are driven by reports that you create to help you understand some specific aspect of your data. And finally, the content or raw data of your reports is provided by the datasets you either import or connect to. Now that you've learned a little about what Power BI is, let's take a look at the Power BI connector that Avtex has created for Pure Cloud. The Power BI connector for Pure Cloud is a package designed to bring your Pure Cloud data to life. Based on our earlier discussion around datasets and reports, the connector for Pure Cloud uses a Pure Cloud dataset, which is essentially a connection to all of your Pure Cloud data and offers it up into contact center specific reports. These reports then allow you to derive more information out of the data you're already gathering and then take it and build your own custom dashboards. I'll begin by looking at the reports that come with the package and then move on to show you an example of how you could build your own dashboard that utilizes the reports. I've opened up a workspace that contains the reports that I get with the Avtex connector. I'll first come over here to datasets where you can see the various data pieces I'm using. For the most part, the data is from a SQL database hosted in the cloud that has tables with data that is populated and synced from Pure Cloud. This data is then used to drive these reports. The report we're most interested in is this one named Demo Pure Cloud Template. These are the reports that you get with the Avtex connector. As I click inside, you'll see five tabs here along the bottom, similar to the tabs in an Excel workbook. Each of these tabs contains a different report that I'll discuss next in detail. I'll start with the Agent Metrics report. 
This report is actually a combination of three report components displayed in one master report. The first component is this animated chart that represents each agent's average talk time, the number of interactions taken, and average answer time. Each colored circle represents a different agent, while the size of the circle represents the average answer time. As the circle gets bigger, the average answer time is increasing. As we move up the vertical axis, the quantity of interactions during the time period is higher. And as we move across the horizontal axis, the average talk time is increasing. The interesting thing about this animated chart is that you can watch how things unfold over the course of a day. For each time period, we can watch what is happening with all of the agents. And if I select the play button, it gives me a sense of how things played out overall. If something during the animation catches my eye, I can simply stop and select the agent I'm interested in, and I'll get more detail about their overall path during the day. Notice too that if I go back to the full report, my selection of this specific agent will also filter the other report components in this report to just that agent as well. It's just one of the great features of Power BI that makes drilling into data efficient and simple. The second report component represents the quantity of conversations broken out by week. The different colored bars are breaking the conversations out by media type. The green is calls, the yellow is emails. If I click into any of the bars, you'll again notice that the rest of the report components filter to only include information related to what I have highlighted in this component. The next report component contains detailed agent metrics. As you look across the columns, you'll notice that you get the greatest number of detailed metrics in a table format. The power of this component lies in its connection to the other reports. As you click into each individual agent, you can once again narrow down what you're seeing in the other components. Clicking on this specific agent leaves only the data produced by that agent in the other report components. One of the other great features of a detailed table like this is the ability to drill down into it by clicking this button. When I click it, I now see the rolled up data broken out into a day-by-day -day listing. If I go back to the previous component, I can also do the same thing in that chart, breaking the weeks down into individual days. Finally, at the top of the report are other quick filters that allow you to alter the display of the report based on a subset of all the data. You can narrow down the data to specific users, departments, media types, whether or not it's an ACD interaction, and date range. The second tab in the package is the Agent Routing and Presence Report. This report is made of several components that also work together. The first two pie charts display how much overall time was spent on queue and off queue while the users were actually logged in to PureCloud. They're broken out by AR, which stands for Agent Routing Status, and OP, which stands for Organizational Presence. To clarify what these actually mean, Agent Routing Status is the status an agent is actually in when they're on queue. If you think about it, an agent's status will change while on queue. It can go from idle to interacting and sometimes to not responding. Whenever an agent is interacting or not responding, or have met their utilization requirement, they are no longer on queue. So the on queue metric of this component can give you an idea of how much overall time while on queue is spent idle. In the organizational presence chart, it just shows straight up how much time is in the on queue status, and then on the other side, how much time was spent in the other organizational presence states. For a breakdown of how much time was spent in those other organizational present states while off queue, you can view the fourth chart here. This donut chart represents how much time agents spent idle versus interacting while actually on queue. It's similar to the first pie chart, but specifically targets idle time, interacting, and also not responding. At the bottom, the graph is a listing of all the users in the time period and shows the percentage of on queue versus off queue time. If you click into a specific bar for a specific user, 
you can see subsets of data in the above charts reflecting that specific user's impact on the overall data. Similar to agent metrics, we include controls to filter by department, username, and date. The Evaluations tab is used to show data pertaining to the evaluations that have been completed by the Quality Management Team in regards to agent performance. The first section is Scores by Evaluation Form. This section shows the evaluation forms that are being used, how many of each were scored, the average score, and the minimum and maximum scores. Below that component is a graph that represents the average score of each individual agent. To the right of that is a chart that shows what the average score is for a specific question group. And in the upper right, there's a word cloud representing the different words quality managers have used in the comments of the evaluations, with the most frequent words appearing bolder and larger. As with the other reports, Clicking into a graphic on any of the components filters the rest of the components to the related data, and once again, you can use the controls at the top to filter the data down to a subset of your choosing. The fourth tab is the Wrap-Up Analysis tab. This report is useful for breaking out specific details around the wrap-up codes agents are using to disposition the interactions they have with customers. The upper left-hand component keeps track of the top five wrap-up codes that are entered by agents. The size of each area is indicative of how often that particular wrap-up code was used. Below that, there's a donut chart that shows the breakdown of wrap-up time by communications channel as long as that wrap-up wasn't the timeout wrap-up code. In the upper right, we have the total wrap-up time each agent has taken for the given time period, except for timeouts. And at the bottom right, we have the total number of times the timeout wrap-up code was taken by each agent. As with previous reports, we've provided an area to filter what data is shown by default, this time with the selections on the left. The final tab for the package reports Avtex provides is the Q Metrics report. This report is extremely similar to the Agent Metrics report, but this time the data reflects information related to queues instead of individual agents. In the first component, we have another animated chart. Similarly, each color in the chart represents a different queue, and the size of the circle is reflective of how many abandons there were for the given time period. The vertical axis represents the quantity of ACD interactions that were offered in the queue, and the horizontal axis shows how many of those offered interactions were answered. When starting the animation, the chart very quickly highlights when interactions were abandoned on queues in relation to the volume at the time. The combination chart to the right reflects this data in a slightly different way. The horizontal axis shows each day grouped by week and the bars and line show the interactions answered versus abandoned against the interactions offered. Finally, at the bottom, we once again have a table of multiple metrics broken out by each queue. And once again, each component of the report interacts with the other components as you drill into the details. And we also have our top level filter options to display a subset of the data. As I mentioned in the introduction, one of the most powerful features of Power BI is the ability to create your own dashboards based on components of the reports that you're using. Before finishing up, I just want to show you the steps to create your own simple dashboard. To begin, select the workspace you want to create the dashboard in. In my case, I'm using the Pure Cloud Reporting Project that I've been working in, which contains all of the reports I've shown in this video. I come over here to the right, select Create, Dashboard, and then give my new dashboard a name. Upon creating the dashboard, I have a blank slate to bring in the components from my reports. So let's go find one of the components from one of my reports that I want to add to this board. I'll go back to the Agent Metrics report, and let's say I wanted to use this upper right-hand component in my dashboard. 
All I do is click this push pin and tell it that I want to pin it to my existing dashboard that I just created. Once I select it, you can now see that the component loads into my dashboard. I'll now go to the Qmetrics report and pin a component from there. I'll continue pulling one other component, and once I have them all on the dashboard, I can simply drag them to the place I want them and set them to the size I want. And in its simplest form, this is a dashboard. If I select any of the components, I'm taken back to the report where the data is being pulled from. If I'm happy with the dashboard, I can share it out so that people have access to it. One great way to share these reports is to embed them in PureCloud. And I can choose to give them a web layout like this, or a phone layout. And this is only the beginning of what you can do with Power BI dashboards. So how can you get all of this goodness? We've made it really easy for you. We've listed the Avtex Power BI connector for PureCloud on the Genesis App Foundry. Follow me to appfoundry.genesis.com, select PureCloud, and search for Avtex. In the results, you'll see the Power BI connector for PureCloud. Select it, then find and select the Notify Me button on that page. Once this happens, one of the members of our innovation team will get back to you with the details of how to get started. It's literally that simple. Thanks for checking out the Power BI connector for PeerCloud from Avtex. If you have any questions, comments, or would like help fueling exceptional customer experiences, reach out to us at innovation at avtex.com.